Hey Aries, welcome to my channel. This is a special reading session for you, Aries. I hope you're okay. I hope you're well. This reading for today, Aries, is Will They Reach Out? Tarot reading session for you. Please, what can I get for Aries? What is the message, please, for Aries? Will their person of interest reach out? Will the person they manifest, they're, they're manifesting, will reach out, please? What is the message, okay? First card, Aries, is you've got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse, all right? You've got here the hmm, Queen of Swords in reverse, Temperance card. And this is the Lover's card. You've got Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and you've got here the um, Knight of Nine of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so let's start your reading. Um, before I kick in, I just want to acknowledge that you could be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's a Lover's card in here. You could be dealing specifically Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I feel like this is a Piscean energy. You don't have wands in here, okay? And um, so let's start your reading. So if you're dealing with someone in the past, it could be an ex or a person you have an on and off dating or getting to know or on and off relationship with, this is the first reading. The second reading, this is someone recent or active, okay? So uh, for someone in the past, you've got eight of pentacles in reverse and um, the ten of cups in um reverse position so the energy of your person in the past is that um they're kind of aware that if you in this this is definitely for some of you split or break up like ex-husband ex-wife or this could be an ex-boyfriend a girlfriend or a partner that you've lived in for quite a while there's a lot of emotional investment in here because the ten of cups in reverse um i feel like this energy here uh, of your person in the past is that they're kind of they are aware that they didn't really make you happy or they are your, your person is aware that um the cost of the breakup is them and um for getting to know or dating um this person is aware that if you guys didn't really f didn't really uh, reach the full maturity of you know being exclusive or if you guys were on and off it is because of them not putting a lot of effort to fuel happiness or to reach complete satisfaction or happiness between the two of you they are aware of their error your person is aware that it's their fault it's awareness they have reached the point that it's my fault okay my third party it's my fault all right it is my fault, okay? And then you've got here Aries, um, Queen of Swords, and then the Temperance card. So because this person is sitting in an energy, it's my fault. It is, it, it's, it's, it's a feeling of the blame. It, it is like, you know, when things slow down, fast forward, conscience or... I don't know. I feel like something is knocking in this person's heart. And from their heart, this regret or sorrow or remorse, it's now went to their head. And this person is very, um, Queen of Swords and Temperance card in reverse, is very feeling impatient. They couldn't help it but reach out and say, it is definitely my fault. I fuck around. Um, it is... A surprising message where this person is going to be um, unloading to you how much sorry they are and how bad they are or something to do with, I feel like the initial message or call or text, it's not going to be nice. It's going to be surprising. It's going to be a bit stressful for you or you, you might be confused because it's it's a message or it's a conversation or it's a message leading to a conversation where um it's my fault i fuck around i'm a bad person i mean you can curse me you can yell at me something like that okay that's why for some of you you you're feeling like you're gonna be you know this person is about to explode that's what i'm getting they're about to because they're stuck in their head they don't have anybody to talk to and express especially nowadays that we are i don't know whatever is happening to the world if you've been mean 
for sure there's this tiny conscience that would spur in your spirit, in your soul, that is telling you, you've been naughty, you've been bad. And this person's reviewing is aware of that. So they're coming towards to people, person that they hurt, especially with romantic. And you're one of them. So they're targeting you, they're eyeing you to kind of unload and admit some sort of bitterness and sorrowfulness that they did. They feel heaviness that it was their fault. For some of you, it's not as complicated as that. But they're finally realizing that they were a bad lover, that they were a bad person in terms of dating or getting to know. Okay? So it is more of a person who would like to clear their name. Okay? If, if, if they unload this, then they could start something new, new cycle. Okay? But you're one of the key person that... It's really important that they say sorry to you or connect to you. And I feel like this person, unfinished business, they couldn't move on. This is a person where I couldn't date properly. I couldn't get right love because I've hurt someone or I have disappointed someone or I have this unfinished business with Aries. Okay, so I expect this person to really reach out to you in a way that is surprising. It might sound weird or shocking for some of you. Um... But if you are, you know, if you have the capacity to listen or if you're still interested to to um, to finish up what you started or to hear them say sorry or plead guilty, go for it. Because I feel like if they manage to clear the negative energy between the two of you, like let's clear the air between the two of us. I felt like there's still a chance for you guys to be romantic and it's a good start. Because all of those nuances and indifferences and negativity and spite and pain and stuff in the past, it would come out. They're willing to let it all out. Okay? Um, yeah. So this person is willing for you, Aries, to burn them. They know that you could be enraged, but they're willing to take all your rage, that flame inside of you. They are, they are aware of that. In the very beginning of the reading, they are aware of that you could swallow them, spit them, and then burn them. Okay, they could be barbecued or charcoal, but they know that. They're willing to experience that. Okay, so good luck with this person. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> so the second reading is that this could be someone recent, the lover's card. It could be a split or a cool off. Like, let's take time off. You know, this person, they do connect with you in some sort of soulful or soulmate or something deep. Okay, for some of you, they don't understand yet the depth or the feelings or the intensity that you have together. So this person have to step back or stay cool or slow it down. Okay, because the lover's card energy is soulmate. Okay, so don't get impatient. Don't get so frustrated because I feel like this person is still willing to try again. They're still very much interested with you. They value you. Um, this person is smart, okay? They know that this is just a cool off or a slow down. It will pick up again because they don't want to lose you. Knight of Pentacles, you are the person that they won't um, declare as the one that got away, okay? They won't let it happen that you and them will miss this opportunity. Your person is just really uh, finding the way uh, to the Knight of Pentacles, which is I'm really having uh, some, some, some sort of time to understand what I feel for you. I'm also getting ready. Because look at the nine of pentacles. I'm getting ready. Because Aries, you are the one that I don't want to miss the opportunity. Or, or prop possibly for some of you, you've already gotten away in the past. So let me get ready and prepared. Because the soulmate, this lover cards, is something that you need preparation. Okay? So I really feel like they would be existing in your life. They would still be reaching out. They would be very active for some of you. But it would take a bit of time. Four days, four weeks minimum. But they haven't given up. In fact, they're preparing. They're gearing up with something. They don't want to miss the flight or miss the opportunity with you. Okay? You are a good catch. So there is a preparation that's going on. And look at this nine of pentacles. She's holding the bird. And you know, guys, if you've been my subscriber, the bird signifies message or um, incoming or outgoing. So they got you. Okay? I really feel like they got you. You are their pet. Okay, on top of the pentacles in here, you are here. You are the you are the bird that's close to their heart. So they got you. They got you. They got your number saved. Um, they got you in their um 
favorites. They're eyeing on you. They're looking at you. If they couldn't action right now, there's some sort of preparation. Okay, so relax. Don't don't get, don't, don't get impatient. Okay, because this person is relaxed. This person is preparing. Because four of swords, sleeping beauty. Once I'm done with my sleeping beauty, with my um, relaxation, you know, I would be in full attention. Okay, so yeah, getting ready, gearing up. That's what I'm feeling here. Okay, so this is you. This is your reading. Thank you so much, amazing friends, for your support, for your likes, for your donation this week. Thank you. It means a lot and it keeps the channel going. Guest viewers, guys, I would really love for you guys to click subscribe, uh, click my team, click join the notification bell and join my team and uh, be part of the Sunshine TV community. For my subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for always being there with me. Wherever you, you are, guys, right now, stay safe, be safe, and see you tomorrow for the weekly upload. Okay? Bye-bye.